Woodrow Wilson was born on December 28, 1856 in the city of Saltland, Virginia. He studied law at the University of Virginia and received his PhD in political science at John Hopkins University. After graduating from college, Wilson published his thesis called Congressional Government. In 1911, Wilson became governor of New Jersey until 1913 where he began campaigning to run for president. On March 4, 1913, Wilson was inaugurated as the 28th president of the United States of America. In December 1913, the Federal Reserve Act is passed to create a central banking system of the United States. Both the Federal Trade Commission Act and Clayton Antitrust Acts were passed as ways of outlawing unfair business practices. Wilson sent troops to the border of Mexico after an alliance was made between Mexico and Germany. Germany was going to give Mexico Arizona, Texas, and New Mexico if the, if the United States fell. On July 28, 1914, the outbreak of the, of the First World War started when the Archduke of the Austro-Hungarian Empire was assassinated. Though many declared war, Wilson declared America neutral. On March 4, 1916, Wilson is re-elected as the 29th President of the United States. On January 28, 1917, a German submarine sank an American merchant ship, causing Wilson to declare war on Germany. Wilson later that year puts the Liberty Loan Act allowing government bonds to be bought. Eight months after the start of the First World War, Wilson had all railroads put under government control due to the decreasing companies able to stay alive due to high taxes and operation costs. On May 18, 1917, the Selective Service Act was passed which forced all men between the ages of 21 and 30 to register for the draft into the military. On January 8, 1918, Wilson gave his 14-point speech to talk about negotiating peace with other nations. On May 16, 1918, Wilson enacted the Sedition Act to silence people to not speak bad about the government. On November 11, 1918, World War I ends with the German defeat. On January 18, 1919, Wilson meets in France to discuss peace between the United States and European nations. The Treaty of Versailles was formed among America, France, Italy, and the United Kingdom. The Senate refused to ratify it. The 18th Amendment was enacted on January 16, 1919 to prohibit only the manufacturing and transporting of alcohol. On October 2, 1919, President Wilson suffered a near-fatal stroke on a 22-day tour around the United States. On August 18, 1920, the 19th Amendment was signed giving the right to vote to women. President Wilson's second term ended on March 4, 1921, and he received the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts during the First World War. Woodrow Wilson died February 3, 1924, in Washington, D.C. They brought in the men, the material, and the resources that these allies needed desperately. The French and the British were suffering a sense that the war was stalemated, that defeat might be coming, and the American commitment was a real shot in the arm for both political leaders and for ordinary soldiers in the trenches. Prior to the outbreak of World War I, America was recognized as a strong young nation. By joining with the allies and really helping to bring about the end of the war, we positioned ourselves as one of the world powers for the rest of the century.